Welcome to the video lecture on even and odd signals. In this video we will consider an example wherein the given signal x of t is equal to cosine of t plus sin t plus sin t into cosine of t. So the first task is to find the even part of the signal. So I represent even part of the signal as x e of t which is equal to x of t the given signal itself plus x of minus t whole thing divided by 2. So this would be the expression to find even part of the signal. So I call the given equation as equation 1. So the task is to find x of minus t. We know what is x of t but the task is to find x of minus t. So to find x of minus t what we have to do is we have to replace the given time t with minus t. So I have to replace t by minus t in equation 1. So I would get x of minus t is equal to cosine of minus t plus sine of minus t plus sine of minus t into cosine of minus t. So now I can simplify this further. So I would get as cosine of minus t is cos t itself and sine of minus t is minus sine t and minus sine t and cos of minus t results in cos t. So now I can call this as expression 2. So this will be the expression for x of minus t. So now to find the even part of the signal I have to add equation 1 and equation 2 and later divide it by 2 so that I'll get the expression for even part of the signal. So x e of t is equals to <coughs> so cos t plus cos t results in 2 times cos t and sin t minus sin t cancel each other and similarly sin t into cos t and sin t into cos t cancel each other. So I would get x e of t is equals to 2 times cos t divided by 2 which results in so I can cancel out 2 so x e of t the even part of the signal is equals to cosine of t. Now the next task is to find the odd part of the signal. To find that I call the given equation as equation 1 and I represent the odd part of the signal as x o of t and which is equal to x of t minus x of minus t whole thing divided by 2. And again I know what is x of t but I don't know what is x of minus t. To find x of minus t I have to replace t with minus t in equation 1. I'm doing the same thing. So if I do that I would get the expression for x of minus t is equal to cosine of minus t plus sine of minus t plus sine of minus t into cosine of minus t. So now I can simplify this further again. So I would get x of minus t is equal to cos of minus t results in cos t and sine of minus t is equal to minus sine of t. Similarly minus sine t into cos t. So now I would call this as equation 2. To find odd part of the signal I have to subtract equation 2 from equation 1 and later divide it by 2. Therefore the odd part of the signal x of t is equal to if you look cos t minus cos t cancel each other and later sin t minus of minus sin t results in 2 sin t. Similarly plus 2 sin t into cos t. Whole thing divided by 2. So if I can simplify so I would get I can take sin t out so I would get sin t into 1 plus cos t. So this would be the odd part of the given signal. So I would represent this as x o of t.